There's no place like home. What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to post to the Instagram Graph API and attach a location to the picture you are posting. By the end of this video, we will have a script that will post to the Instagram and attach a location to our post. You see right under my name, it has the location. So if you attach the location, it appears right underneath it. And if you click on it, Instagram will take you to the little location icon and the name of the location, which in this case is just my Facebook page. So I've attached my Facebook page's location to my Instagram post. Now, before we get into any code, let's hop over to the Instagram Graph API docs and check out the guides for content publishing. Here we have our limitations for content publishing. We can only post to business accounts. We have a limit of 25 calls per day. You can only post JPEGs. Stories are not supported. Shopping tags are not supported. Branded content tags are not supported. Filters are not supported. Multi-image posts are not supported. Carousels. And if the caption contains a hashtag, it should be HTML URL encoded. Publishing to Instagram TV is also not supported. So I'm going to hop down here to the permissions. These are the permissions you need on your access token if you want to use the Instagram Graph API to publish content. Scrolling down a little bit farther, I'm going to click on the publishing photos with location, and that will take us to the section for publishing photos with location. And they tell us to use the pages search API. Now we can use this pages search API and we can search for pages using this curl request right here. We just do a get request to slash pages slash search and then the queue equals the query string for any page you want to find. In this example, we're searching for a Facebook page and we specify the fields you want to get back and the location being the key. So here is a sample response. Here's the location. And then we have another element in the array, another location, Facebook Seattle, with another location array. Now, the only way to use the pages search API is if you have a business account set up, sent it through the Facebook app review, and they've approved or app. I don't have that. I'm going to use my own Facebook page. As long as your app is in development mode, you should be able to do this. So over in the Facebook Graph API Explorer, I have hit the page endpoint for my page with my page ID, and then I want to get back the location, the name, and the ID fields for my page. I click Submit, and I get the location, the name, and the ID back for my Facebook page. If the page does not have a location over here, you will not be able to use that page when taking your post for a location because the page must have latitude and longitude data. Here, my page has that. So I'm going to use this for testing. All we need is the page ID. That's all we're going to pass along with the Instagram post request is the page ID. As long as that page ID has a latitude and longitude, you can use it to get the location and attach that location to our post. Now we can get to coding. I'm going to hop over to my blog code repository. Check it out on GitHub, github.com slash jstolpe slash blog code. I'm in the Instagram graph API folder in our docs folder. In our docs folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it IG post with location. Then over in Sublime, I'm going to open that up. And before we go any farther, we have to open up our defines file as well, which is in our Instagram graph API folder. We have set these things up in previous videos. Go check out my Instagram Graph API playlist. But for this video, we're going to be using our access token and our page ID. I'm going to update these things here with their correct values, and we're going to move on to our IG post with location file. Now, the first thing in our file here is to include the defines that we just set up, defines.php. And we have to do dot dot backslash because it is up once folder outside of our docs folder in our Instagram Graph API folder. Next, I'm going to open up the Instagram Graph API posting content. We're going to copy over this make API call function because we're also going to use that here when we make calls to the API. A few updates here. We just want the return transfer and that is our make API call function. This function is simple. It's just a, it just sets up the curl request. All we have to do is pass in the endpoint, what type it is, a post or a git, and the parameters that go along with that endpoint. Our first endpoint is our media endpoint. This is where we create the media object. We specify the base URL, which is just graph.facebook.com, our Instagram account ID, which is coming from our defines file, and we, then we do slash media on it. Then we specify the parameters for the endpoint. First parameter is our image URL. Now the image URL has to be public and accessible online, so I'm going to use this image right here posted to my server, igpic underscore post location square dot jpeg. The requirements are that it has to be a jpeg. So I threw that up on my server. And we're going to paste that URL right there for the image URL. Then we're going to specify the caption. And this is simply the caption for our post that the users will read underneath the image. Now the next part is key. The key to this video is the location ID, which is simply the page ID. And like I said, if the page ID does not have a location with a latitude and longitude, this will return an error. So I'm using my page ID, our page ID variable, which is coming from our defines file. 
And lastly, we have to use our access token in order to make this post to Instagram. And our access token is also coming from our defines file. With our endpoint and parameters set up, we can do our make API call function. And we have to pass in our endpoint. Next thing we pass in is the type, and this endpoint is a post request. Then our params array right there. Then we're going to default to in progress for the status of our media object. Now what we've done here is we've created a media object for our image URL with our caption and our location. The media object gets assigned a status in progress. So while Instagram loads our image, caption, and ID and creates our image object, it's going to be in progress. And so we are going to keep hitting the Instagram Graph API and checking the status until the status is finished. So underneath this, we're going to start a while loop, and we want to check the status of our media object status code. And if it does not equal finished, then we're going to keep running this while loop because we can't publish our content until the object is finished. So we're going to hit another endpoint here. Inside the while loop, every iteration, we're going to hit an endpoint. It's our status endpoint. And it's simply endpoint base, which is just graph.facebook.com version, and then our response array ID. So the ID of our media object. So we're literally checking the status of our media object by the ID that we got back from this make API call right here. And since this is an endpoint, we have to pass along some more parameters. This is also an array, and all we care about for the object status is the status code. So we're going to request the status code. In the fields, we're going to request that we get back the status code for our media object endpoint. And like all endpoints, we need to pass along our access token. And after that, we're going to do our make API call function. And we're going to set our media object response array to the make API call. And this time we're passing along our status endpoint. Our status endpoint is a get request. And our parameters here are fields status code. Then we want to update our image media object status code to whatever we get back from our make API call response right here. Status code lives in our response array and our status code key. Now, if our status code equals finished, we will break out of this while loop and we can move on to publishing our content. After we break out of our while loop and our object and our media object has finished, we can get the ID. So our media object ID is right up here. Media object response array ID. The status has been, the status code for that media object is finished, which means that we can actually publish it, which means it will appear on our Instagram feed. So now that we have our ID with a status of finished, we can create our endpoint for publishing. Our publish image endpoint is our endpoint base, again, slash Instagram account ID, which is from our defines file. And then we do slash media publish. And like all endpoints, we need to pass along some parameters. So the first parameter is the creation ID. The creation ID is the image object ID. And besides that, we just have to pass along our access token. Then we want to get our publish image response array, which is going to be our make API call. API call takes in our publish endpoint. This is a post request. And then we're going to pass along our parameters. And that should do it. That should have published our image to Instagram with our specified location, which is coming from our page. So over my browser here this is the picture I'm going to post. The JPEG is publicly accessible, which is what Instagram requires. Over in my blog code done slash Instagram graph API docs, IG post with location.php. We're going to run that script. White screen means it's done with no errors. Then I'm going to hop over to my Instagram profile and there's my picture. Clicking on that, we see my picture is there just like we sent it. Got my caption. Here's my Instagram username and right underneath it is the location, which is the name of my Facebook page. Clicking on that will take me to the location of my Facebook page. Now remember, if you have sent your Facebook app through the Facebook app review and you have gotten approved for the necessary permissions, you can use the search for pages API and you don't need to use your own page when posting for a location. The searches for page API allows you to query for a page based on a query string right here and then you get a response back. And so you could use any ID of any of these pages that you get back in the search pages API response. So instead of querying Facebook, you could say query New York and you could get back a list of hundreds of different New York locations and depending on which one you want to use, you just specify that ID in the code over here for the location ID, which is just the page ID. So basically all you need to do is specify the page ID, make sure that page ID has a location with latitude and longitude, and then you are set. Basically all you need to do when posting to Instagram 
to the API is specify location ID, which is just the page ID. And if that page ID has latitude and longitude, the location will be posted with your post to Instagram. And that is going to wrap up this video, posting a picture to Instagram using the Graph API and attaching a location. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.